Hello, today we're going to be looking at Amiberry and answering a couple of questions that some people had in my previous videos. So I'm on my Raspberry Pi 4 at the moment as you can see and uh, I'm going to open up Amiberry, I'm going to execute Amiberry and what we're going to do is first off we're going to load up a game that's got multiple discs because somebody asked how do you run a game with multiple discs first go off to floppy disks I'm just going to speed up the floppy disk to 800% then I've got a desert strike here which comes on three disks so I'm going to load up disk 1 so there we go disk 1 is loaded and also what I'm going to do is just go to display and center the horizontal and vertical uh, just so it looks nice and then what we're going to do is we're going to run up that game so as you can see Desert Strike is loading up I'm just going to click and go through the title and then we'll just click past this and then eventually what will happen is it will ask for disk 2 so all we do is we simply press F12 on the keyboard and it brings us back to this menu and what I can do is go to floppy drives I can go to three dots go to disk 2 select disk 2 and then click on resume in the corner and then the game carries on loading up so that's how to run multiple disk games now a handy feature as well uh, that somebody asked was save states now I've got to the main menu of Desert Strike it'd be handy if I could quickly go to this without having to bother about loading up disk 1 and then disk 2 so if I do F12 again then I go all the way down to the bottom I've got save states what I can do is click on 0 or actually I'll click on 1 because save state 0 is one that I've done already if I go to save state 1 what I need to do is go to click save state and there we go that state is now saved click and carry on with the mission and you think oh no I want to go back I can quickly just go F12 load state boom there we go I'm back at the main menu now uh, if we click on restart so I'm going to restart the configuration there we go so we're back to the beginning again now what about WHD load games so say for example if I've gone to whdownload.com uh, and I've downloaded Secret of Monkey Island the Secret of Monkey Island came on many discs and actually I don't feel like having to press F12 and change floppy disks all the time that's the one of the convenience of having H, uh, HD load games so I've got that downloaded and I can actually just load this up straight away in Amiberry so I'll just go to the quick start and then you've got this line here that says WHD load auto config all you need to do is select your file in this case my uh, WHD load is an LHA I recommend that you look for LHA files if you're looking at WHD load packs then you don't want zip files you want LHA files so there we go I've got my uh, secret monkey island there we go that's selected there and all I need to do is click start it will detect what configuration it needs and there we go it's now loading up the game so there we go we've got the beginning of monkey island now one of the things I don't recommend is actually using save states in WHD load games only leave the uh, safe states for games that you're running off of floppy disk or ADF files so I've just recently set up a coffee account if you enjoy the content that I make I appreciate any one-time payments that you give for the channel thank you now another question somebody else had as well was how do I put it into full screen well that's pretty easy you just go into display make sure that you've got correct aspect ratio selected as most people got a widescreen and then you just choose full screen and then if I resume there we go we've got Monkey Island also as well if you're finding that the game is stuttering a little bit and maybe you've got running on a Raspberry Pi 3 which is just not cutting it 
then you can resort to what's called frame skip. Now, as the name suggests, it basically skips some frames of the game, so it doesn't try to render 100% of the game. It will try to keep up by skipping frames. So just clicking on frame skip will enable that, and that might improve the speed of some of your games. So I hope that this video helped uh, some people with uh, using Amiberry. Uh, if you have any more questions um, or any more requests on guides at all, uh, then please leave them in the comments below and I'll have a look into them. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in another video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you wish to see more. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.